What is going on you guys? This is No Rest for the Wicked Early Access and what I would do to make it a better experience because it is early access after all. So this is not the final build, but I want to contribute to the feedback in order to get this game reaching its full potential because it definitely has potential to be an amazing Souls-like game. So that's what we're going to do here because there are some things that I think really need attention and fixing. And number one on the list has to be weapon durability. Listen, nobody likes this. Nobody wants their weapons breaking. Nobody wants to repair them. I don't know why this is in the game. It should be gone completely. I feel like they took some pages from Breath of the Wild in more than one aspect, and this is one of them. I would really like this gone, just completely gone. It doesn't belong in a game like this, in my opinion, but if they must do it, it needs to be cheaper to repair these weapons because at one point I had mine break. It was the dual daggers that I had at the beginning of the game and they broke twice between the first boss fight and then the next area I had him break twice. I went back to go repair them. One time it cost about 80 to repair everything that I had equipped, including those. And then another time it was like 90 something. And both times I was short on copper because copper is not super easy to come by. It's the currency of the game, but it's not like souls and you can't like pop things to get more copper or anything like that, uh, like you could in a traditional souls game. So it's just about finding the currency in chests and on enemies. So what I had to do and end up doing was selling some other gear I didn't want because I just needed a bit more copper. Another thing that they pull on this too, and I want to make note of this, you notice how there's two prices here. You have one to repair what's equipped and then another to repair all, which is your whole inventory that's on you. Now, when a weapon is completely broken, you cannot equip it. So I tried to do that. I tried to put on some broken weapons some broken armor. It would not let me. So therefore I cannot use the first price on top. I have to do repair all, which is copper and I believe silver or something on the left. So I have to have even more currency to repair all. So it's like we're getting screwed right there. If you wait too long and your weapon's completely broken and it just happens, then you're screwed. You're going to have to spend more to repair all, especially if you want that specific item. It is kind of bad. <laughs> the more I look at this, it gets worse and worse because not only is that kind of messed up, but just the fact that we have durability at all and it's expensive to repair. So there I am in my inventory trying to find what I can sell and all of that. And I just feel like this early in the game to have that kind of management just feels off to me. It doesn't feel natural. It feels forced and like it doesn't belong in the game. And I just feel like being this early on and having to manage like this feels off to me. It feels like something's wrong here. The prices is too high for the repairs and also at the same time, Copper is not easy to come by. So there's, there's double problems here. On top of the major problem, which of course is weapon durability even being here in the first place. And it's not just weapons, it's armor too. So if I die, my armor takes a beating over and over, right? Because this is Souls game, we're going to die a lot. So if we're dying multiple times, our armor's going to go, our weapons are going to go, we're going to have to repair all of it or equip something else that's in our inventory, which fills up really fast. And that brings me to my next point. The inventory is very, very stingy at first, and it fills up really, really fast with items that I can't use yet because a certain stat isn't leveled up enough, typical Souls-like style, and food that I can't prepare yet. We're going to talk about more with that later. And then just items that I want to keep, but I can't because I'm out of room. And there is a chest where you can put extra inventory back in the town. There's only one of them so far for me. And for whatever reason, it doesn't show on the map. So I had to go and find that. An icon for that chest would be nice. But the bigger issue is just the inventory itself because it just fills up so fast. So I guess they're going to want us to go back and forth between fighting and then to our chest so we can put items away that we don't need yet. And I, I understand that ARPGs do that all the time, 
but the starting inventory that we can carry in this game is just very low to the point where it hurts the game. And I get it. I know they're kind of going for that ARPG side of things. They're trying to get us to manage it and, and hold it important and really pick and choose what we're going to use and discard and create things out of or all of that. I get that. But I just feel like at the beginning of the game, being this early, the management is at an all time high. <laughs> There's a lot of management that I'm doing when I should be fighting these enemies and learning the patterns instead. I should not have to worry about my armor breaking after a couple encounters. That's just wild to me. And then on top of it, I had an experience where I fell, right? Just a normal Souls-like experience, nothing crazy. I fell off. And when I respawned, it told me that my sword was broken. <laughs> I kid you not. Didn't use it. I just fell. And it it got rid of my sword. I couldn't use it anymore. So that just goes to show like there's some major tweaks that need to be done if the management and durability is going to remain how it is. There needs to be tweaking with a lot of it if it has to stay. We'd rather it not, <laughs> but if it has to stay, there's got to be more of a user-friendly experience with this. Lower prices to repair, more repair kits that we can pick up, something that will help us to keep the progression going smoothly. It just feels like the pacing is off because of this. I'm not having that kind of normal Souls-like pacing because I'm in my inventory so much. And the problem with the food and cooking it uh, is not the cooking itself, it's what goes along with it. So let me explain. So you have this kind of Breath of the Wild type of thing where you're cooking food and that's what you're going to eat to heal yourself. I have no issue with that. I think that's fine, especially because healing is super quick in this game. Like I heal really fast. It's not like a long animation or anything like that. So that's all well and good. But when I don't have enough ingredients to make these certain recipes, I can't do anything with those ingredients. I can't eat them on their own. I can't cook them on their own. A piece of meat, for example, I can't do anything with it. I can't cook it, nothing. So it sits there in my inventory, right? Unless I put it in the chest or drop it, get rid of it, it's gonna sit there until I get all ingredients to make that recipe. So it takes up room in my resources. This is the same tab that I'm supposed to pick up iron and ores and stuff to use on my weapons, shards and things like that. They're combined. So this is gonna run out really fast. I don't know if their intention is that they want us to go back and forth to this chest all the time, which again is not even on the map, just pointing it out there, there's no icon. So we're supposed to just go back and forth, back and forth, put, put in some food in there that we're not gonna maybe need for a while because we don't have the recipe yet. It just becomes kind of a mess. I would much rather it be where I could just pop this food anytime. I can eat it anytime, like the piece of meat. Just let me eat it and heal, but it doesn't. I have to actually cook this thing with something else. And the only thing I can really eat on the fly is uh, mushrooms. At least that's the thing I found so far. I could just pop those and I gradually get some health back. But those mushrooms are valuable too because they create other recipes. So if I'm just popping these mushrooms because I don't have the other ingredients, I'm never gonna have mushrooms to even make those recipes <laughs> because I have no other health, right? And so there's some issues here. There's some tweakings that I think need to be done. Maybe a separate tab for food only. Have that and then have the other resources in a different tab. I think that would at least be a start to help on this stuff. Um, and then also being able to just cook the food individually. So like the meat, just let me cook that so I can eat that, but it doesn't let me do that at this point. So I think that needs a major fix there. Another gripe I have, and this just comes from being early in the game. I mean, I felt it immediately and that is the stamina. Now I know it's a souls like, I've been playing these games for a long time. I know stamina is important and I know we're supposed to manage it. But the stamina in this game is super low when you start. So the best advice I give to, I'll give to anybody is level up stamina immediately. And that sounds odd to say, even with a Souls-like game. I've never been one to put up that stamina immediately. I usually would do something for my weapon. I would get health. 
uh, leveled up, you know, those were kind of the focuses and that's kind of the natural thing to do with souls like and the and the stamina as it is, is manageable at first. You can beat the first boss or the first couple of areas on that stamina and you have to manage it for what it is, but it feels natural. It feels good and like it's at a good number. This game, no, not so much. It feels like you have to level up that stamina immediately. So to me, that tells me there's an issue here. There's there's something going on to where the stamina is just too stingy at first and it needs to improve. So that's that's just another gripe I have. The game has a ton of potential. This could be a hit and I like it a lot so far. There's a lot I like about it, but there's these big issues that I don't like about it. And I think it brings the game down. So if, if I can contribute to this getting fixed in at all, <laughs> I want to, okay? I want to, because there are a lot of pros in this game. Like I said, with the healing, it's very fast. It's very snappy. Uh, cooking the meals and, and having stuff like mushrooms to eat on the fly. I think them having different healing abilities, I think that's totally cool, totally fine. It's just that I want to be able to eat more than just the mushrooms <laughs> so I can save some room in my inventory. It's getting crazy. The story I think is good in this game. It's got a very Game of Thrones kind of style to it. I love that. The art style, of course, beautiful. And the deep world that it has, it's very lively. There's a, lo there's a lot of NPCs. Uh, it might be a little too much in terms of like interacting with the world because you do have to rebuild certain things and like you could put wood and other materials towards that. That's kind of taking more time to do, but I still think it's pretty cool of an idea to get us more immersed in the world and to kind of care about it more. I'm, I'm okay with all that, but it could feel a little off-putting to like, oh, there's more work I need to do with this other management stuff already on top of what I have to do with my armor and my weapons, and I'm already kind of stressed about this. I don't even want to work on the town. I don't want to do that. So. It's giving me the impression that they wanted to give these management type of aspects to the game and something different than what we're used to when it comes to a Souls-like. And I admire them for that, but I just think it needs to be done a bit better and more user-friendly, something more inviting. And I just, I just got to circle back on it. Weapon durability is not fun. It's just not. And, and armor as well. All of it. All the durability. I think if that was not here, all this other stuff would be more of a shining thing about the game. You know? So it is what it is. I mean, it, it's early access. Again, we have to repeat that. It's going to change. There's going to be, you know, some more changes and fixes, especially with performance. I know they're, they're probably working on that right now because there are performance issues for some for me, not too much. I've been pretty good with that. But this other stuff, <laughs> this other stuff is screaming at me. Say something, Erica. So I'm saying it, all right? I also really love the special moves that we can do by just filling our meter of, you know, attacking enemies and stuff. It fills this meter to where we can use a special move. I press LB and X, and it's a power move, and I like that. So... There's things in this game that, that are shining and I think uh, have a ton of potential. And like I said, this could be an amazing Souls-like, but it's not quite there yet. But I hope it gets there. Because I'm really cheering for this game. I want this game to be a hit. And I'm glad they did early access because it gives us a chance to give some feedback. And they can listen to people who actually like really play these games and... And we have experience with Souls likes and ARPGs and all of that. I just think, you know, when it comes to quality of life, that is super important. And if they can get that done better, have more quality of life, more user friendly of an experience, I think that's, we're go you know, we're going in the right direction. That's what I hope for. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you've been playing this game, do you agree with any of this stuff? Is there anything else you want to add? Because I'm sure there's more. I'm going to play more. So something else might pop out to me after that. But in the meantime, this is kind of the major things that are uh, sticking out for me. So let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.